Okay guys, so this is my what's in my hospital bag video. Now, this diaper bag is one that we got off of Amazon. Um, Tim bought it for me around Christmas time. Um, it wasn't actually part of my Christmas present, but it was around Christmas time. Um, and I would like to get another one just like this one pretty much just like a girlier color um this isn't anything really to do with it but I'd like to use this black one as like a extra if that makes sense I'd like to keep this one in the car full of wipes diapers um an extra set of clothing for her an extra shirt or two for me Stuff like that. Uh, the reason being is in case I'm in a hurry and I walk out and forget her diaper bag, I still have stuff for us while I'm out and stuff like that. And so I'd like to get a second one, but we're going to work with what we've got. So this diaper bag, it's got the handles, but it's also got the backpack straps and it's got a pocket here, a pocket over here, um, the big front pocket, it's got the big pocket here on the, like the main pocket, and there's I think two on each side inside, and uh, it's really hard to explain, um, but this zipper back here actually opens up to the bottom of the bag, so if you have your diapers laying there, you can just unzip this, pull one out, and you're good to go. Um, so I'll start with the front pocket here. Um, this front pocket actually has this like mesh lining here. I don't know if you guys can even really see. Uh, it's got this mesh pocket here. It's got like a pacifier clip thing so that you have a pacifier right here. And it's also got three um, spots here. They're actually like insulated for baby bottles. I do have two of the Philips Avent 4 ounce bottles in here just for now. Um, I do plan to breastfeed, but um, if for some reason I can't, I'd still like to have these bottles just on hand for just in case reasons. Um, so that's, ugh, zip. That's all that's in that pocket is just two of those Philips Avent bottles. I'm actually going to pull a footstool up. Uh, this way I have somewhere to set the bag on. Okay. Um, another thing about this bag is it has the feet down here in the four corners. So that when you set it down it's not necessarily sitting directly on the floor. So you unzip it and open it up. And yes, there's two pockets on the side. Um, I think there might be another one down below. No, it's just the two pockets on the side and then it's got two smaller pockets. Um, see if I can show you guys here once I empty this out. So this is a car seat cover that was sent to me by a subscriber. Um, I have this in there because it's going to be September. I don't know what the weather's going to be like and um stuff like that so this is going to be in there this way i have it if i want it um it folds up it has a nice little like satchel carrying case thing so i have that in there i have two newborn outfits and two zero to three month outfits just because i don't know how big she's gonna be so the first outfit, see if I can get it pulled out here. Okay, so the first outfit actually is these little bloomers with this little tank top thing. And I think this is just the cutest outfit. Um, but just in case it's cold, I packed... A pair of newborn black like legging type pants to pair with this shirt and I do plan to get a newborn plain white onesie um, 
just to have in case, like I said, in case it's cold, I can put a long sleeve onesie and then put this over top of her, like on top of the onesie. So I've got that outfit type choice. Then this is the second outfit choice. So it's this pink onesie with little birds on it. And these little green polka dotted pants. <clears throat> so again, they are both like pants outfits. But if it's warmer, then I could just put the bloomers on her with that um, one out, like that with that other shirt. And she'll be cooler. Now I also, I think this is the wrong sides. I think this one is the one. Um, I did pack a newborn sleeper as well. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this one here is newborn. Um, so it's this flower print, just a newborn footed sleeper. Just to have, um, honestly, I don't necessarily want her in something that she'll be uncomfortable in for the ride home. So I might end up putting the sleeper on her. For the ride home but I don't know um, packed this little beanie with a little bow on it next moving in to the zero to three month outfits so we actually just got this one it's got little owls on it and it says just like mommy and that pairs with these pants just little floral pants. And then we've got this white onesie with little pink cupcakes all over it. And that pairs with these pink pants, like pink polka dot pants. And these ones actually have an ele or I'm sorry, a cupcake on the butt. And these are also footed pants. So um, I don't plan to take socks. Or anything like that so um, just really have to work with what we've got and obviously if we need socks I can send him to the store or whatever but I really don't plan to put many socks on her until she's older and then I've got this zero or I'm sorry this three month sleeper it says mommy sweetie it's got a cupcake on it and it's just covered in cupcakes little footed sleeper um, I don't necessarily love this sleeper because it's the buttons, but it was given to me by my sister-in-law who her daughter passed away when she was 33 weeks, I think. Um, so she passed away and she never got to wear any of this stuff. And my sister-in-law gave it to me just to, so like she knew I would get use out of it since I'm having a girl. And the only stipulation she had with giving me this stuff is the clothing. She just wants to see her wear it. And I told her that was perfectly fine. Um, she said she would like to either see her in person or get pictures of her wearing it. And that cupcake outfit in the zero to three month is also from her as well. So I have those two options in case they come to visit us in the hospital. I can just throw that on her if it fits her and go from there. Now in the one side pocket I have her Wubba Nub, her Piggy Wubba Nub, because I do not plan to use the pacifiers at the hospital. I know it's like the same thing as what's on the Wubba Nub, but um, I just, I don't know, I figured this would be better because it's ours and if she doesn't like it then I can stop at the store or whatever I don't know um, but that is one of the things I have written on my birth plan is that we will provide the pacifiers um, that we don't want their pacifiers now in the one zipper pocket that's in here I have one of these <laughs> it doesn't look very interesting but they're actually bags um, so there's it's like a refill bag pack now, what I mean by refill bag pack, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to show you guys that well. Sorry, my chair is so squeaky. 
Um, it's just this little like dog bone shape, dog bag dispenser. I don't even know. Um, I got it at Dollar Tree. It's pick for picking up dog poo. Um, I figure I would use that because like if we're out and about or something and she has a mess of herself or something like that, I could throw her clothes into one of the bags and then I could throw that in the diaper bag and then as soon as I get home, take it out and throw it in the washer. Um, if I'm changing her diaper at a friend's house or at my dad's house or something, somewhere that doesn't have a diaper genie or something like that, um, I will put her diaper and wipes that I use in one of those bags, tie it up, and then throw it in their trash. Um, just, I don't, it's just out of curt courtesy, I guess. Um, I just, I don't know, I think it'd be really rude if someone were to come over to my house and just throw a dirty diaper in my trash. Because I only get to take my trash out once a week. Um, every Monday is garbage night, and we don't take it out any time from the time I get all the garbage gathered up, put into the same bag. We take that, and then it's there until next Monday. So, um, I know other places have, like, you can take your trash out as often as you want, whatever, but, um... I just plan to use those for dirty diapers or dirty clothes or whatever. Um, next thing, these I know are not a necessity in her diaper bag, but I have them in her diaper bag for reasons. Like, I do not plan to, like, put certain things in there and not put certain things in there just for a hospital trip. Um... Plus, if all goes according to plan, I will be delivering at a hospital an hour away instead of the closest, which is 15 minutes away. Um, so I am hoping to be able to travel to a better hospital for delivery. So I've got a pack of the Pampers Sensitive Wipes. There's 56 wipes in here. Um, just like the little pop top wipes. Um, so I have a pack of those in here. And then in this Pampers pouch are actually her diapers. Now, with as humid as it is, um, the sample diapers that I've been getting, I leave in the packaging, like the plastic wrap and everything. So that's how these diapers are going to stay until I need them. I will take them out of the package whenever I need them. But these are just Pampers newborn diapers. And I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven newborn diapers. And then I do have two size one diapers just in case she's not even in newborn diapers, which I'm pretty sure she will be. But um, I just have two size one honest diapers that she can wear if she doesn't fit the newborn size. So I've just got those in this pouch for now. Um, again, like I said, these are not actually in um, any kind of package. It's just the diaper. So I did put it in this bag to kind of help. But once she's here and we're using diapers on her all the time and stuff, I plan to just put them in the bottom of my bag. Like this is in the bottom of the bag. And then the wipes are on top, so if I did need them, I could just unzip this back zipper back here. Uh, let me show you. Let me get the diapers and wipes in there. This chair is so squeaky, it's driving me nuts. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, you move the straps out of the way. I'm just going to like fold them up over. There we go. So you've got this zipper pocket, and you unzip it, voila, there's the diapers and the wipes. So I could literally just reach in there, pull it out, and then put it back in there when I'm done. Um, I would have the, the diaper bag laying down. Um, there's also a little zipper pocket here. It's like a wet pouch type pocket, so you can store like dirty diapers or something in there, but 
Honestly, I don't know what I'll use that pocket for. I'm sure I'll find something. Maybe teethers or something. But I'll have it laying down and then I can just reach in, pull out her wipes and her diapers and then put them back in there. Close it, zip it up, and I'm ready to go. Um, again, I am so sorry about this chair. It is driving me absolutely nuts. But that's everything that I have in my diaper bag. Um, breastfeeding supplies I will put in my bag. Um, we'll have her car seat in the car. We plan to install it around 35-ish weeks. And I will be having, like, I probably will be taking my boppy pillow since it's, like, since I do plan to breastfeed and everything. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I might put a couple of her hair bows in here once, like, I get a couple made for her. Um, I've really been slacking in the bow department, but um, I'll probably put a couple of bows in here, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, oh, I do plan to also put in two or three, probably just two of the ready-to-feed breastfeeding supplementation formula that I have, um, just for, like, on the ride home or something if she gets hungry or whatever and I'm not feeding her enough I still have those bottles that I can give to her and feed her but other than that that's it um, I do also plan to have a like fuzzy blanket in here but I do not have a girly one the ones that I have are neutral and I would really like a girly one so that will also be in here, but other than that, that's it. That's all that's going to be in this diaper bag, um, her hospital bag. I'm not going all out. I'm not packing a whole bunch of stuff for her. And I'm also packing, like I said, the diapers and wipes because I don't plan to not have them in there and then forget to pack them and then we leave the house and don't have any diapers for her. So um, just being extra prepared, I guess. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if there's something that you feel that I am absolutely missing, please let me know down in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. Um, some things I might have thought of, but just decided not to, or I might not have even thought about that I would really like to put in here. So um, yeah, just be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!